Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. So today we're doing something a little bit different, a little bit experimental. We are seeing how my makeup would look if AI, artificial intelligence, it's the future, decides how I do my makeup. Now I got this idea from James Turner, who is a um, Sims YouTuber, you know, like the game The Sims, and he used AI to build a house on The Sims. So I was watching this, and I was like, we can do this with makeup. Um, and the result, the, his results are actually really good. Um, the pictures that come up scared me for some reason. They're kind of like Uncanny Valley-like. And I'll link that video below if you're um, into The Sims. I guess. I love The Sims. Anyway. So that's what we're doing today. We are going to use this website. I don't know what it's called. It's called huggingface.co, but the thing is da da Dali Mini? I know, basically, for those of you who aren't familiar, you can type in anything into this thing and it produces images. So, for example, let me type in bat, bat on a, on a candle, on a candle. <laughs> and basically you run it, and I don't know how it does it, somebody can explain below and I'll pin it. Um, but it creates an image with whatever you type in. And it's just made images of bats on candles. That's so clever. Oh, I don't like that some of them are on fire. We're gonna do a search for eyes, we'll do cheeks, we'll do bronzer, we'll do lips, and see what happens for those of you who are new to my channel. Hi, my name's Robert, I'm a professional makeup artist here on YouTube and also in real life, and it's my goal to help you become a pro yourself, or just someone who's really good at makeup. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, then do please consider subscribing. Okay, should we just get into it? Let's type in, let's be really, really precise, and let's do purple and green eye makeup for men. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to see what comes up and then collect the products. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna come up. I mean, oh, I guess it's gonna be purple and green because that's the look I want to do today. Oh, oh, okay. I'm just trying to make sense of them. <laughs> okay. It's so weird because you can see they've almost used like a beard. There's a beard in there. I'm really trying to figure out what is happening. Do we try this? I don't know what this is. Okay, let's try and do this. Cheeks, let's type in because I want to be like specific so it comes up with a really weird image. So let's do. Let's type in 80s blush, and then what's like a random 80s blush makeup woman. <laughs> oh my god, these are horrifying. These are really terrifying. Some of them are okay. So, okay, let's take this one because I like the pink blush that kind of goes into the ear and round. <laughs> so horrible. Okay, lipstick. Man, woman, nude. Oh, it's come up with naked people, right. See how, like, they're, they're a bit, the images are creepy. I find them really creepy. That's cute. We can do that, orange. Okay, um, I'm trying to think what else we can do. Oh yeah, highlighter. I can type in highlight makeup man. I just type in man because it just makes it more weirdly specific, you know? <laughs> okay, I don't think we really get much of Okay, let's take this kind of sculpting here and um, do that, do whatever that is. Right, I'm gonna match up these colours. This is haunting, I'm haunted. Okay, so let's start with the eyes here. I don't have any green contacts, that green, unfortunately, so the eye isn't gonna be exactly the same. But I have, for the purple, I have my Bright Mattes palette from, um, Beauty Bay. I took the black out the top here, so please just ignore that. I was doing something. Um, so these purples, I think this purple we'll go for mix in with this a little bit to make that kind of like sharp underbrow situation happen. And I'm gonna use a black as well. For the greens, I'm gonna have to try a few different things. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, we're, we're just gonna see what happens. <laughs> Let's start with the green on here, and then we'll do the purple underneath. So, it's kind of that toxic green. Okay, so I think I'm gonna mix up a few, a few things. I'm gonna go in, oh, is that too bright? Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. I can't find anything exactly that shade. And then I've noticed there's like random lines everywhere in this picture. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so let's start by, it definitely starts around here and stops, it's kind of blended out to there. So let's go up to here, I wanna say. 
This is almost like neon, whereas like in the picture it's more like slime green, you know? Okay, okay, so let's let that dry. And now I'm feeling like it needs to be slightly more like darker and yellowy green. So, okay, so I'm gonna go into Unearthly Cosmetics Leather and Lace Palette, and I'm gonna use this shade here, because I wanna deepen it a little bit, but I don't want it to be like completely dark. And then I'm gonna go over with like a shimmer. No, that's not it. But I've done it now, so I need to carry on. <laughs> okay, no. Okay, let's take a shimmer instead then. So... Okay, I definitely, I definitely don't have that eyeshadow coloured down, but that's fine. Okay. <laughs> That's not it, that's not it, but close enough. Okay, let's get this purple under the eye. Now, one thing I've noticed in this picture is that you can't actually see where the purple stops, so I guess we'll just have to guess <laughs> what happens to it. Okay, so, so kind of, okay. It just makes no sense. It just makes no sense at all. And then it kind of like just goes off, right? Into like a line. Kind of like this, I think. And then maybe let's fade this out into the skin. And we can fix that up with like concealer and stuff. Let's see this confusing thing. <laughs> okay, now. I can't get them even. I hate this. And then is that like a bit at the end? I'm just gonna say it is. Okay, I, I just I don't know what's going on. Okay, so in my mind, I see like a shimmery gray purple on the lid. And then what, it goes into black? Okay, we can fix this, we can fix this. <laughs> These colours just don't match up, I'm so pissed. Okay, fine, it's fine. We're gonna sort out these lines as well. Okay, let's go into the black and start adding some of this black detailing because I think we need it to take away from the rest of the mess. So, this, is there like two wings on it? So let's do... Okay. So it, it almost goes into one wing here. That's like a little bit thicker. And then there's another wing that comes out. <laughs> okay, and then that's gonna come down here, but we'll do the um we'll let concealer deal with this. <laughs> and then the green is also around. I give up. I give up. I can't do this already. I hate it so much. Now there's green around the black. So It's so terrible. And then there's a random um purple line. <laughs> yeah. There's a purple line, it's like above the black, like here, for no reason. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I need to do a concealer. Let me do concealer quickly. And I need to bring the black under the eye. Okay, so let's take that green. I need to make it like super green under the eyes. So I'm gonna take this and really try and blend it in under the eye first. Where was it? It was like more in the middle, right? Oh no, the whole way across, okay. Okay, then let's go. I'm I ba I'm panicking like I have some kind of time limit. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. I'm panic. I don't know why. I'm I'm like panicking and. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's a very light bit on that. It's like, well, I don't know why I'm bothering to try and get it so exact because it's so shit. Uh, like here. Okay, what was I doing? Yes, okay, so blush. We're going for the Nude Prism palette and we're going for the ka Kawaii. Kawaii? Shade because it's a bright pink. Now, the blush in this picture kind of extends onto the ears, or what I assume are the ears. So let's go, let's do this. <laughs> so it's right here. And it comes on like a little bit onto the cheeks in quite like a, a blocky square. And then onto the ears. And that's just kind of where it stops really. But it's definitely, I'm actually gonna use this Pink Prince shade just to go around the edge here to kind of like diffuse out that pink a little bit more and make it stronger right here. Blush on the ears is, is a cute look. I don't mind that. We'd like a good 80s blush. Maybe not so much with um, these eyes, whatever these eyes are. I keep, I keep looking at them and thinking what the fuck happened. Okay. This, this is fine. This is fine with me. Okay, next up we have a lip. So the top lip is kind of like just pure orange, like a glossy orange. So I'm gonna use this lipstick. This is Rouge. Oh no, it's not orange. Oh, boy tea, boy tea. Yeah, perfect. And then we almost need to like darken a top lip that's more like a burn orange. So I'm gonna use this and then I'll just get a darker one on top. And then the bottom lip looks kind of glossy. So let's just put some gloss on the bottom. I just can use this clear one from Beauty Bay. But the top lip looks just kind of like regular. So I'm just gonna leave it. And then we have a highlight and contour. So here's what I'm gonna do. Where's that Fenty one? There's a very rigid line for the contour. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work with a blush, but we'll try it. <laughs> Just go over the top. Why not? It's already looking so great. So it's kind of just going like this down to the mouth. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, and there's some highlighter, which is literally like just going along the top. <laughs> okay. And there's also like this strip of highlight, I don't know if you can see it, just here. Almost in this like triangle shape. And also just completely on the bridge of the nose. I think we've got it. Okay, let me put on some lashes and then we'll have a finished look. Okay, so I'm waiting for the glue to dry on the lashes and I was gonna put some purple on the lash and green on the teeth. But you know what, I think I'm gonna stop here. So this is my AI created um, look. It's, it's a look, it's a look. So with the eyes, I had to get those shades right to make it look any kind of good. Um, but I think the image, the image as well also looked like quite saturated, so finding that green was kind of impossible. Um, and I think I was looking at details that weren't really, it's like things were there, but also they weren't really, it was really confusing. But this is what we've made, you know what? I would love to see, if you have Instagram or TikTok, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, at me at your recreations office eye look. I really want, really, really genuinely want to see it. I'll comment on them, I'll share them. Um, <laughs> let me know how you get on. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I'll do one of these again if people enjoy it. Give this video a thumbs up, do consider subscribing, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.